city of Kalgoorlie Boulder is situated 600 kilometres east of Perth in a semi-desert uh, arid area and uh, has a population of about 35,000. Um, it is a very important one with mining for gold and nickel. It's very important for the city to conserve water given that all our water is piped from uh, Perth and the fact that we have such a low rainfall. The Water Corporation provides water related services to the people of Western Australia. The project that we nominated for our um, funding grant was to introduce some technology which would reduce demand for water. Uh, we approached ITRON at this stage because we were initially looking at an automated meter reading solution but the closer we worked with ITRON the more obvious it became that there were other technologies out there that would uh, help us to achieve greater water efficiencies. The city's growing so the population as it grows the water consumption increases so that's why it's important that we look at ways of conserving water. Cowgirl is unique from a water supply situation in the perspective that it doesn't have any natural water supply. And it, the long-term capital cost of water in Kalgoorlie is about $7 per kilolitre. Given the high cost of the water to Kalgoorlie, it was important that you know, we made sure that we made good use of every drop that we pumped up here. We had um, a high incidence of leakage. Um, we had great difficulty in reading people's metres, many of which were located in the backyards of their properties. A lot of the properties were locked up with high fences. Um, to access to the metre, it was very difficult to see over these fences, so we had to utilise the back of a vehicle, which is very dangerous. The worst thing is the two combined, leaning over a fence and suddenly having a dog lunging up at you out of nowhere while you're concentrating on uh, getting a reading on the water metre. The smart metering system we installed is Everblue. It has three main components. There's the metre that's at the customer's property, and that's fitted with what we call a cyber, which is a radio transmitter. It sends a radio signal to a collector. A collector is mounted on a power pole or a street light pole. That's by radio frequency. And the collectors control the meters. And then the collectors transmit the information daily onto access points where the information is then transferred to our business systems back in Perth via the internet. Currently all the information is fed into the Everblue system. And WaterCorp's developed our own system called MyWater where we extract the information from Everblue and we put it into a web-based portal for the customers who will be able to enter their account details, access their own account, be able to see monthly consumption, weekly consumption, daily and hourly consumption, and so they'll be able to adjust their water use accordingly to save water. Overall, from the smart meters, we've had uh, zero complaints from the customers. We can show them if they've got a leak and then high water use events, so if they've got a, a faulty retic or a, um, just an air conditioner what uses a lot of water. The trial's been an outstanding success because over the two years of the trial, we've managed to reduce our water supply to Kalgoorlie by over 800,000 kilolitres, which is a saving of around 10%. We still believe that we can achieve another 5% by working with our customers, um, sharing the information with them about how and when they use water to allow them to reduce their use and ultimately reduce their water bill. Look, I think the smart metering process is a fantastic idea. and People can save and conserve water. Using smart meters is a great way for them to take charge of their own household and reduce water usage. And a small saving can translate to a big saving across the state.